In mathematics, a Young tableau is a combinatorial object useful in representation theory and Schubert calculus. It provides a convenient way to describe the group representations of the symmetric and general linear groups and to study their properties. Young tableaus were introduced by Alfred Young, a mathematician at Cambridge University, in 1900. They were then applied to the study of the symmetric group by Georg Frobenius in 1903. Their theory was further developed by many mathematicians, including Percy McMahon, V.D. Hodge, De B. Robinson, Giancarlo Rota, Alan Lascaux, Marcel Paul Schutzenberger and Richard P. Stanley. Definitions. Note. This article uses the English convention for displaying Young diagrams and tableaus. Diagrams A Young diagram is a finite collection of boxes, or cells, arranged in left justified rows with the row lengths weakly decreasing. Listing the number of boxes in each row gives a partition lambda of a non-negative integer n, the total number of boxes of the diagram. The Young diagram is said to be of shape lambda, and it carries the same information as that partition. Containment of one Young diagram in another defines a partial ordering on the set of all partitions, which is in fact a lattice structure, known as Young's lattice. Listing the number of boxes of a Young diagram in each column gives another partition. The conjugate or transpose partition of lambda, one obtains a Young diagram of that shape by reflecting the original diagram along its main diagonal. There is almost universal agreement that in labeling boxes of Young diagrams by pairs of integers, the first index selects the row of the diagram, and the second index selects the box within the row. Nevertheless, two distinct inventions exist to display these diagrams, and consequently tablets. The first places each row below the previous one, the second stacks each row on top of the previous one. Since the former convention is mainly used by Anglophones while the latter is often preferred by Francophones, it is customary to refer to these conventions respectively as the English notation and the French notation, for instance. In his book on symmetric functions, MacDonald advises readers preferring the French convention to read this book upside down in a mirror. This nomenclature probably started out as jocular. The English notation corresponds to the one universally used for matrices, while the French notation is closer to the convention of Cartesian coordinates. However, French notation differs from that convention by placing the vertical coordinate first. The figure on the right shows, using the English notation, the Young diagram corresponding to the partition of the number 10. The conjugate partition, measuring the column lengths, is arm and leg length in many applications, for example when defining jack functions. It is convenient to define the arm length a lambda of a box S as the number of boxes to the right of S in the diagram lambda. Similarly, the leg length L lambda is the number of boxes below S. This notation assumes that the English notation is used. For example, the hook value of a box S in lambda is then simply a lambda plus L lambda plus 1. Tableaus A Young tableau is obtained by filling in the boxes of the Young diagram with symbols taken from some alphabet, which is usually required to be a totally ordered set. Originally that alphabet was a set of indexed variables x1, x2, x3, but now one usually uses a set of numbers for brevity. In their original application to representations of the symmetric group, Young tableaus have n distinct entries arbitrarily assigned to boxes of the diagram. A tableau is called standard if the entries in each row and each column are increasing. The number of distinct standard Young tableaus on n entries is given by the involution numbers chapter 1, 1, 2, 4, 10, 26, 76, 232, 764, 2620, 9496. In other applications, it is natural to allow the same number to appear more than once in a tableau. A tableau is called semi-standard, or column strict, if the entries weakly increase along each row and strictly increase down each column. 
Recording the number of times each number appears in a tableau gives a sequence known as the weight of the tableau. Thus the standard Young tableaus are precisely the semi-standard tableaus of weight, which requires every integer up to n to occur exactly once. Variations There are several variations of this definition. For example, in a row-strict tableau the entries strictly increase along the rows and weakly increase down the columns. Also, tableaus with decreasing entries have been considered, notably, in the theory of plane partitions. There are also generalizations such as domino tableaus or ribbon tableaus, in which several boxes may be grouped together before assigning entries to them. Skew tableaus A skew shape is a pair of partitions such that the Young diagram of lambda contains the Young diagram of mu, it is denoted by lambda, mu. If lambda equals and mu equals, then the containment of diagrams means that mu i lambda i for all i. The skew diagram of a skew shape lambda mu is the set theoretic difference of the Young diagrams of lambda and mu. The set of squares that belong to the diagram of lambda but not to that of mu. A skew tableau of shape lambda mu is obtained by filling the squares of the corresponding skew diagram. Such a tableau is semi-standard if entries increase weakly along each row, and increase strictly down each column, and it is standard if moreover all numbers from 1 to the number of squares of the skew diagram occur exactly once, while the map from partitions to their young diagrams is injective. This is not the case from the map from skew shapes to skew diagrams, therefore the shape of a skew diagram cannot always be determined from the set of filled squares only. Although many properties of skew tableaus only depend on the filled squares, some operations defined on them do require explicit knowledge of lambda and mu, so it is important that skew tableaus do record this information. Two distinct skew tableaus may differ only in their shape, while they occupy the same set of squares, each filled with the same entries. Young tableaus can be identified with skew tableaus in which mu is the empty partition. Any skew semi-standard tableau T of shape lambda mu with positive integer entries gives rise to a sequence of partitions by starting with mu and taking for the partition I places further in the sequence the one whose diagram is obtained from that of mu by adding all the boxes that contain a value I and T. This partition eventually becomes equal to lambda. Any pair of successive shapes in such a sequence is a skew shape whose diagram contains at most one box in each column. Such shapes are called horizontal strips. This sequence of partitions completely determines T, and it is in fact possible to define semi-standard tableaus as such sequences, as is done by MacDonald. This definition incorporates the partitions lambda and mu in the data comprising the skew tableau. Overview of applications Young tableaus have numerous applications in combinatorics, a representation theory, and algebraic geometry. Various ways of counting young tableaus have been explored and lead to the definition of an identities for sure functions. Many combinatorial algorithms on tableaus are known, including Schutz and Berger's Judah Takin and the Robinson Shested Nuth correspondence. Lascu and Schutz and Berger studied an associative product on the set of all semi standard young tableaus, giving it the structure called the Plactic Monoid. In representation theory, standard Young tableaus of size k describe bases in irreducible representations of the symmetric group on k letters. The standard monomial basis in a finite-dimensional irreducible representation of the general linear group GLN are parametrized by the set of semi-standard Young tableaus of a fixed shape over the alphabet 1, 2, n. This has important consequences for invariant theory. Starting from the work of Hodge on the homogeneous coordinate ring of the Grassmannian and further explored by Giancarlo Rota with collaborators, Dickinsoner and Processi, and Eisenbud, the Littlewood Richardson rule describing the decomposition of tensor products of irreducible representations of GLN into irreducible components is 
formulated in terms of certain skew semi-standard tableaus. Applications to algebraic geometry center around shoe but calculus on grass minions and flag varieties. Certain important cohomology classes can be represented by Schubert polynomials and described in terms of Young tableaus. Applications in representation theory Young diagrams are in one-to-one -one correspondence with irreducible representations of the symmetric group over the complex numbers. They provide a convenient way of specifying the Young symmetrizers from which the irreducible representations are built. Many facts about a representation can be deduced from the corresponding diagram. Below, we describe two examples. Determining the dimension of a representation and restricted representations. In both cases, we will see that some properties of a representation can be determined by using just its diagram. Young diagrams also parametrize the irreducible polynomial representations of the general linear group GLN, or the irreducible representations of the special linear group SLN, or the irreducible complex representations of the special unitary group SUN. In these cases semi-standard tableaus with entries up to n play a central role, rather than standard tableaus. In particular it is the number of those tableaus that determines the dimension of the representation. Dimension of a representation hook length the dimension of the irreducible representation pi lambda of the symmetric group Sn corresponding to a partition. Lambda of n is equal to the number of different standard Young tableaus that can be obtained from the diagram of the representation. This number can be calculated by the hook length formula. A hook length hook of a box X in Young diagram Y of shape lambda is the number of boxes that are in the same row to the right of it plus those boxes in the same column below it, plus 1. By the hook length formula, the dimension of an irreducible representation is N, divided by the product of the hook lengths of all boxes in the diagram of the representation. The figure on the right shows hook lengths for all boxes in the diagram of the partition 10 equals 5 plus 4 plus 1. Thus similarly, the dimension of the irreducible representation W of GLR corresponding to the partition lambda of N is the number of semi-standard Young tableaus of shape, lambda, which is given by the hook length formula, where the index I gives the row and J the column of a box. For instance, for the partition we get as dimension of the corresponding irreducible representation of GL7. Restricted representations A representation of the symmetric group on N elements. Sn is also a representation of the symmetric group on N minus 1 elements. Sn minus 1. However, an irreducible representation of Sn may not be irreducible for Sn minus 1. Instead, it may be a direct sum of several representations that are irreducible for Sn minus 1. These representations are then called the factors of the restricted representation. The question of determining this decomposition of the restricted representation of a given irreducible representation of Sn, corresponding to a partition lambda of N, is answered as follows. 1 forms the set of all Young diagrams that can be obtained from the diagram of shape lambda by removing just one box, the restricted representation, then decomposes as a direct sum of the irreducible representations of Sn-1 corresponding to those diagrams, each occurring exactly once in the sum.